Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TNR. I hope you all are well. So let's start today's video. So today is really really fun. So we are having a very hot summer in UK. So I thought why not make this popsicle ice cream. So yeah, this art has been around for a long time and it's been uh, lo lots of recent artists are making melting ice creams over the year I have seen. So this time I thought why not give it a go. So the original artist of this pop art is Betsy essence burger i hope i pronounced it right i will write it above so she's the original artist of melting ice cream so initially i was going to buy the mold and i was looking on amazon for the silicon molds to because i was hesitant to use this one as this was wandering around in my house so but i thought give it a challenge and let's try so what i did is I'm doing here at the moment is I have taken the popsicle stick and I'm just putting up this holographic paper onto the stick because I don't I want to make it a bit on the pop art side so I'm just cutting it according to the size and this is a sticky holographic paper I bought this one from Hobbycraft it's a craft shop in our UK so I think it it's available on Amazon as well so I will find it and link it in my description for now i'm just using this so you can use anything on your popsicle stick you can use uh, you can color it you can um, add glitter to it or you can add so there are so many options So here it's done and on to the mold now so i don't need it and what i will be doing here is for this mold i will be using you can use any silicon oil i am using just vaseline i'm just rubbing it will be rubbing it inside the mold here just do i need reach all the spots And now with the tissue paper, I'm just cleaning off the extra Vaseline. So let's start the process here. So I mixed my resin here and I have taken a medium viscosity resin. So I'm, I will be doing this in layers. So for my first layer, I will be adding this fantasy film, aura film or holographic paper, you can say, into the mold. And I now I will be pushing it inside. Just need to take care that I don't have bubbles in there. Now pouring some more resin. So again, this is up to you, whatever color combination you need to go with. So I'm just looking at if it's enough. I can see some bubbles down underneath trapped. So I'm just pushing the film here and there just so that the bubble, bubble rises. So now this layer has been cured and I'm on to the second layer. So remember that it's cured but but still sticky so that I don't get the lines in between. So now I'm taking this violet transparent pigment and I will be adding a little bit into this container. So I'm adding it to the mold. And on the top I will be adding the clear resin into the rest of the container and it will be a bit lighter on the color on the lighter side. And now pouring it into the mold.
and now i'm pouring the rest of the resin i'm actually going for a bit of the smoky effect so that's why i'm adding the violet pigment and then the clear resin so i've added this layer so now i will leave this to cure a little bit it just let it to be thick enough and after a few hours now i will be adding this popsicle stick that i made with the holographic paper just to insert it now it's the time so what i will be doing here is i will be taking two more popsicle stick and join them together with the help of a tape i will be showing you in a moment here In between I will be putting the holographic popsicle that I made. Now I am putting the tapes on both sides so that it holds the position. So now I am inserting it and I will be really careful not to disturb the resin and it should be scented. So with a little here and there, I managed to center it, it is, but, and it's cured now. So for my next layer, I will be adding some iridescent glitter to my clear resin. So I'm, I just added a little bit of the glitter, you can see, into the resin and now I'm just pouring it. And after that, I will leave this layer to cure. So it's next day now and all my layers are cured now. I will be removing the helping tool and the holographic stick is centered and stuck properly. And on to the last layer. For my last layer, I will be making it a bit of on the glittery side. So I will be adding two glitters, a bit dark gold and uh, antique gold. I will be com combining them both. And now I'm adding the resin, mixing it up, and I will be pouring it into the mold. So this is the last layer. So my mold is filled up now and I will just leave it to cure. I just topped it with some of the gold foil that I forgot to show you. That's it. So see you next day i'm excited so this is the next day and i was excited but i was afraid but i don't know if it will be coming out or not so first of all i just warmed it up in my hands and then i used a tool to remove the resin from the mold so it was working i was happy about it So first I thought that it's okay, it's a cheap mold, I can rip it apart but this time I thought give it a challenge and without disturbing it I will remove the resin out of the mold. So did some sort of tapping here so that it do release itself from the mold. And then I took another tool because that was an exacto knife and it could break. So I was slowly doing it. Scratches or mark onto the mold or onto, onto my resin piece. So this took a while but uh, I, at the end I this time I used the soapy water and I added the soapy water into the mold.
So after adding the soapy water, it was ready to pop. Here you go. And I was so happy that it was so amazing and clear. And the soapy water worked and my mold was okay. I am ready to make another popsicle stick, another one soon. So this is the mold. And this is my popsicle stick. I wish there should be a real popsicle stick like this so we can eat it. So for now, the melting part, I took a circular mold here. And you can position your popsicle stick however you like. So I was going for a slight tilting. This is my, uh, my first time doing it. So I was just going with the idea that how will it work. So what I did here is I am using J Diction UV resin here. And as I heard, it's a high viscosity. I used it and liked it. So that's why I'm using it. So I'm pouring a little bit of UV resin into the mold. Because I want it to be working fast. You can use normal resin here. But it will take some time and some work. The UV resin will help me as a glue and let it stand. So I was about to get ready my UV lamp here. So from now on I will be using the UV lamp here a lot and I'm just will be adding the UV resin and then I will be using the UV lamp. So this thing is side by side now. So I use some help for my popsicle stick to be in a position. So I know I'm sorry that you can't see what I'm doing here but I'm just holding the popsicle stick and the UV lamp is on the top. The position was so odd that at this time I just wanted it to be on in this position. So now I'm adding some support underneath the popsicle ice cream. So here we go and now I will be curing it. So I placed it under the UV resin two, three times so that making sure that it's been all cured up so that it don't move into the mold. So the reason I'm showing you that I have placed it under the UV lamp so, time, so many times is that I want to show you that it's a struggle. It's not so easy because I do get comment that we don't want to waste our time seeing it under the UV lamp. But I do need to show you that things do take some time. So now it's cured now. So as I explained earlier that this is my first time making the melting ice cream. So I was not sure that how big I need to make the melting ice cream. So I went with the mold size here. So you can use a UV resin for this whole process. But I just avoided it and used normal resin just to use both resins. So I'm adding this aura film again because I'm showing you that the ice cream is melting at the top. So my aura, it's melting like that if you understand what I'm saying. But all in all, this was really fun project to make and I so enjoyed making it. I was not that much stressed out when you're making a technique and you're afraid that it will not come out right and... Sometimes it don't come out right and you are not happy about it. But this was really fun thing to do and I'm sure you all will love it. And if you try it, you will enjoy yourself. So as I added the aura film from the back, I will be adding this purple color again because a violet purple color because I want to show you that it's melting from here as well so 
so i'm just adding a little bit of the purple and violet color here because i really don't want it to take over the ice cream raisin ice cream so adding just little by little And now I leave it to cure. So this is the next day and everything is cured. Let's see, I need to demold it now. So it's demolded now and I have some uncured resin underneath. So this is a silicon mat you can see I have. So before placing it onto the mat, I am going to cure it from the underneath that is not cured yet. So it's all cured now and on to the silicon mat now and now I will be working with the UV resin. So adding a thin layer of UV resin onto the mat. I was actually going for the rough shape now because this is circular you know that and we don't want a circle here as it's melting. And just just adding some aura film underneath And now I added the raisin ice cream on it and we'll put, I put it under the UV lamp. So it's all cured now and with the UV resin now I will be trying to, you can see there is a harsh line of this circle and I don't want it so I'm trying to cover it with the UV resin. So I will be putting up a little bit of UV resin and I will be curing it because if I leave it too long it will again slide off and I will get the circle. So I want to remove that circle so I will be doing that all around. So it's done now, it's a bit on the messy side but it's okay. So I will be now curing it from underneath. So yeah, my I got a lot of melted ice cream here. So again just I'm telling you that it's first time for next time I will be taking care of that. That I don't want it to be too melting. So now it's all cured from all side. So I, I do had some extra reason that I sand it off. And now I will be filling it on the top because there is a gap. So I need to level it everything. So I did end up using a lot of UV resin here. And I will be pouring a layer of resin and then I will be curing it again. And meanwhile, it's under the lamp. I am adding some more resin so that it gets cur curing start away. So 
so after putting it under the uv lamp for one time i will be adding this gold foil onto the resin because it's all a bit on the sticky side so the transfer the gold transfer itself very nicely onto the resin So it was looking amazing and I don't know it's if the camera is capturing it but as soon as this golden hit it, this ice cream it was on next level. So initially I was thinking of using a uh, AB cabochon that you know that they are a bit on the holographic they are long laces and I wanted to put some on them that on the ice cream to show that it's dripping but I don't have I don't have it now so next time maybe it will be really fun So I'm just putting up the foil now And on, on to the next step So here I will be adding some more gold. So doing the same thing I will be adding some resin and I will let it under the UV resin one time. So now on to that extra glitter effect what I'm doing here is I have taken a normal Ziploc bag and I will be adding this antique glitter into it directly. And now I will be pouring this UV resin inside. So I will be adding a little bit of UV resin because I need a thick paste instead of a very flowing glitter here. So I added a little bit of resin and I will be mixing it inside the Jiffy bag or the Ziploc bag you can say. So this avoids messing as well. So at this point I think that I had add a little less UV resin so I will be adding a little more of the UV resin. So you can add normal resin for this but i think that uv work really fast and you can cure it before the resin changes its position So now I'm just, with the help of this popsicle stick, I am putting everything on one side. This was a bit satisfying to clean up all the glitter and adding it to the side. Now I will be cutting it with scissors, making a cone. You can use a icing bag as well. So now I will be adding drips here and there but, but I was just thinking that I need to add the drips very carefully not doing overdoing it. So I added some drip on the top and now I'm putting on the front. So as I was using a UV resin so adding the drips and curing it was the process here I was doing. So while I was doing this dripping, I had another idea in my mind and I had to do it. So what I'm doing here is I have used some crystals. And at the moment I'm using the amethyst and I placed it where the violet purple ice cream was melting. And I used some pirates as well. So for this I am using my epoxy sculpt. And before applying it, for extra security I use a drop of super glue here. So just checking on the position. So at this moment I went overboard with everything I can feel but I still loved it. 
This was such a playful project. Because at this point, we are very far from reality. And this is really, um, you know, imagination work here, fantasy work here. So I will be adding crystals, aura flakes, glitters, everything I can find to make this fun. So this is some pirate that I'm, that I'm adding. Since I used a lot of gold. And then some crystal pots. And this is the final step. I'm just adding some aura flakes into the clay that I used. And I think it's done now. Just checking for the final looks now. So all in all, this was a lovely project here. And I love all the glitter and the fantasy film and everything about it. Such a fun project this was. So now the final look. So this is the final look. I really enjoyed making it and I hope you did as well. So if you have any suggestions or any comments, please do let me know. And next time if I'm making it, if what should I do with it? What should I add? I will be making another one, sure. I have an idea for that. But if you tell me something extra, I might make some more because it's summer and we love making these ice cream. So thank you so much. If you liked it, please do like, subscribe and share. Thumbs up if you like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider do so. And as you can see, I do lots of mixed media items here as well. So and I have so many amazing ideas coming up your way. So stay tuned. Take good care of yourself. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.